Hey, hey, welcome back to another Wednesday night interview with Hollywood Affiliate Market Marketing Services. This is the last live video of the year and we are so excited because we have so many exciting things um, to talk about that we've accomplished, achieved, and also um, goals and plans for the next year. And also we're shouting out a few different things um, Talk, we're talking about a lot tonight, so just stick with us. We're going to kind of give you an overview of everything that we're uh, talking about. So in tonight's um, live video, we will talk about 2020's accomplishments and achievements and also um, 2021's goals and the plans and how we plan to get those achieve those goals. Yes. <laughs> later, later on a little bit, we will discuss the best... Um, affiliate programs of 2020 that we have been able to utilize and provide and also some programs that um, I guess anyone else can utilize if they're looking into the affiliate marketing. So yeah, so make sure to stay tuned because just in case that is one of your goals, um, as I'm sure hopefully, you know, it is, but either way, we're, we're doing that. So we hope that you guys stay tuned so that you can hear what some of the best programs are if you're looking to get started with that. Yes, and also we will be um, recognizing past interviewees and also um, the top members of the group based on support and engagement within the group itself. So we do want to take the time to shout out um, our biggest supporters and also people that we have, like I said, interviewed and their success stories that they've shared with us, which we absolutely love to hear those success stories. And lastly, we will be giving tips for any um, entrepreneurs or anyone that is kind of like stagnant or just needs a little bit of advice or guidance for their business or products or service. So Stay tuned, make sure you always comment um, any questions that you have, any concerns or any feedback because we love feedback, positive or negative. We love it all. <laughs> Everything, all feedback is positive, so. That's true. Just keep, if you do have negative feedback, at least season it with salt, <laughs> yeah. you know? And when I say that, I mean- Please and thank you. Just uh, keep it PG. I don't care what you say, just say it in a way that is respectful and, uh, you know, we don't need hate, but, right. but negative, you know, not negative, but constructive criticism is cool. Yeah. Just negativity, no. <laughs> constructive criticism doesn't have to be a negative thing. Yeah. And if you are new here, um, if you've never been to a Wednesday night interview, we do uh, interviews every Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. Central. And we just give people or valued businesses the opportunity to share their business, their products and their services. We, um, you know, review and research just to make sure that they are of a valuable product and then we expose them to our uh, network. So if you're interested in that, please let us know. Again, we'll expound on everything within the um, live tonight, but we're just trying to give you an over overview so that you can have something to look forward to. Yes. So <laughs> first things first, I think um, 2020 goals and accomplishments. I mean, okay. not goals and accomplishments. Okay. The goals or do you want to talk about accomplishments? Uh, I think we should start off with our um, accomplishments for this year. Or shouting out the people. Um, I think part of part of the accomplishments are the people that we will shout That's out. So, true. Um, you know, those of you that are in attendance, you and you know our top subscribers. I mean, not subscribers, but our top um, members, our top um, interviewees, all those different things. Uh, we would like to. You know recognize you as this is our last meeting of 2020 and we would like to thank you and um, show our appreciation for what you've done not only to help yourself but to help us and you know that's something else that we'll expound on a little bit later but i guess just for you know the sake of the group we'll talk about you know what we've done this year and then we'll go into giving out the recognition yeah all right so uh do we have our stat sheet yeah <laughs> Okay. I guess we can talk about, uh, you know, when it was created, how far we've come, kind of start from there. Okay. So, like Brianna uh, mentioned, mentioned in the beginning, so, and if you see us drinking anything, it is actually Celsius. Um, we're, once again, we are affiliate marketers. Uh, Celsius, if you're out there, <laughs> we drink you every day too much, but we love you. What is Celsius? Celsius is an amazing energy drink, unlike Red Bull and Monster. I'm not hurting anybody's feelings or anything like that, but Celsius is all natural. You don't have any calories. You don't have the jitter. You don't have the cramps. 
all that extra stuff. With but vitamin B. Yeah. And this is not a commercial. I promise you, we're not getting paid by Celsius as of now. But <laughs> Celsius is amazing. And uh, I do recommend anybody get that. Yes. So I'm not like Mike Nantoni or uh, what's the old Rockets coach? He, every, after every interview, he had his red cup. This is Celsius. But anyway, uh, the group started back September 12th, 2020. We started with zero, literally a big zero members. And it was, from what I remember, um, a Saturday afternoon, you know, just, you know, hit each other up and just talking. And we're just thinking about how we have all these other goals for what we want to do in the future. We have goals, you know, huge goals, especially for 2021. So please stay tuned. But decided to um, basically figure out a way that we could give the world all the love and appreciation and just kind of spread that, especially in a year of a pandemic, uh, people losing their jobs, left and right, all these different um, negative things that are happening in the world. How can we give back some positivity or start something that would help other people and give love? Because, you know, for all the things that we want to achieve and things like that, you can't gain anything without giving. And the more that you are able to give, the more service you're able to provide and value that you're able to provide, the more it comes to you. So not for the sense of the of the reason of trying to get something out of anybody, but just wanting to give and put positive energy out there in the world, we decided to go into creating this platform, which allows uh, all of you to promote your business as an entrepreneur. But not only that, but people who, um, you know, are just looking for something that's not the, the, the average thing that everybody has or the commercialized product. We're looking for, you know, those people are able to see what maybe the neighbor, the neighbor next door has or the, uh, I don't know, a guy, some, yeah, the underdog or, you know, even somebody who is, you know, uh, commercialized or mm -hmm. whatever the case is, maybe get an opportunity. Yeah. So we just wanted to basically bring your network and our network together and create this huge thing, somewhat similar to what Facebook has already done. Mm -hmm. It's an international group and the same, but at the same time, don't forget this. We also are affiliate marketers. So the same traffic that we provide for you to promote your business, we also are promoting, um, that program. on that same mm -hmm. on that same uh channel basically yeah. so uh with that being said um we are now today as of december 30th 2020 mm -hmm. at 920 members so from Ish. september 12th yeah so from <laughs> september 12th to today we're at 920 members so you know that's kind of what our vision was and now we're at 920 members so the people who were there in the beginning they had their successes, you know, people, you know, to where they are now. Everybody at least has had, you know, many successes, including us. So we'd like to thank you. And we'd also like to, um, you know, just kind of point out some of the things. So the engagement in the group has steadily grown. Uh, we will be shouting out those top members who are helping with engagement. And we think that, you know, that's even a part of our goals, which we'll talk about later. But those things are really important, engagement. We don't want it to be just a group where people are just, you know, spitting out random stuff mm -hmm. or, you know, nobody's actually caring about what anybody's saying. But likes, reviews, comments, um, feedback yeah. and, you know, conversations is, is what we kind of want. And that's what we've, we've been able to achieve. And that's also what is enabling other people to, to succeed within the group mm -hmm. as well. Uh, I would like to say that our busiest day is Wednesday. Do you, do you want to tell anybody why, just in case they don't know? <laughs> because of our interviews and because of the engagement within the interview itself, so. Yes. Bravo. Straight to the point. <laughs> yes. Bravo, I didn't want to lose me speaking that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, basically the, the Wednesday night interviews have, have uh, basically seemed like uh, a huge thing. So that is one thing that I say we've been complimented on the most out of any other group that I've seen. I haven't seen anybody doing a consistent interview and the interview purpose is in order because we don't charge right until there's like a million subscribers maybe <laughs> but either way we don't charge and um the wednesday night interview we actually use that in order to promote you so that we want this group to be a family we want people to be able to recognize the the faces that they see uh posting the most so with the wednesday night interview when we interview another guest or a member of the group 
it's in order for you to be familiar with that person, what they're doing, what they have to provide, and allow them to um, be able to, I guess, you know, explain what they have and who they are. All right. And thank you for, you know, attending, including the people who are here now watching. Yes. So it's truly an honor for, you know, Wednesday nights to be our busiest days because it's not just, we don't want just us to be interested or us to be able to promote, you know, someone else in their services. It's important that you guys are, you know, tuned in and giving that vibe too. So with that being said, I did want to shout out you know, all of our past interviewees and their businesses, once again, just in case you missed it or, you know, just to give them that recognition because just like we're helping or attempting to help them grow, they're helping us grow as well. Yeah. And another thing too is since we have grown so largely from our first interview that we've done with, I'll let, I'll let uh, Bree disclose that, but <laughs> from our first interview that we've done, we've grown tremendously. So um, we want to give you that recognition for one, but also, we want to uh, make sure that everybody's familiar with the people that we've um, been able to interview. And we'll also give some, some of the success stories that, we, that were shared with us. And also, if you have been interviewed in the past, please go ahead and comment, um, you know, any testimonials that you have and success that you've received. We can both share the interviews, but I can go first. Go ahead. So Tajay Bird was our, is that Tajay? Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. was, they call him Bird. So. <laughs> Tajay Bird um, was our very first interview, um, literally within maybe days or weeks of us starting the group. So very first, very fresh. And he has a um, all, ex all art, all, all access. access art show. All access art show. Yes. Um, which you can expound on that because you've actually attended one. He told us, but it's, I feel like it's a lot better when someone is actually, you know, outside and has attended that. So you can expound on that. Yeah, if like. I'd also like to say it's a good point that we do utilize yeah. you guys' services. Yes. So, yeah. yes. Um, he also has What the Fun Photo Booth, which is a portable um, photo booth that is extremely amazing. Um, and we can actually, we can just talk about the success mm -hmm. as it goes. So he's actually uh, signed a corporate deal or a deal, a one year contract with a corporate company. Through this interview, uh, there was an apartment complex manager attending the inter the live interview. He heard a story. He heard what he had to offer. They linked up after the interview, and now he has a one uh, year contract with at least one apartment complex. But I think it's a group, uh, like a yeah. community. So that's yeah. huge. They want to throw like basically a, a huge festival. That, yes, that's for an entire absolutely block. crazy. Yeah. And he also has his own marketing gig that he does as well yeah. throughout. He, yeah, he also mm -hmm. markets. He's a, he's a manager, like he manages other, mm -hmm. the marketing of others. So if you're an artist, an inspiring artist or something like that, that you know, he is um, able to promote you as well. Yeah, and not that his, is it Beyonce or his wife that oh. was on the interview, yes. but they actually have some big news that you know a lot more about. So I'll let you talk I about that. I mean, I don't that. know a lot about it, but I do know that, and not necessarily through us, but I would like to, like I said, we promote whoever. But um, he was able to be, a, they were able to be a part of Travis Scott's new restaurant uh, release opening. Uh, we will take a comment. So we do do live comments as the interview goes on. We have one from Ferne Crooks. It says, in order, and I mean, what other ways has this group helped you to grow? Has it helped you develop more professionally? Has it strengthened your relationship? Was it reaching for your goals and helping others in the process help done for you in other ways outside of the group? That is a great a question. lot of questions. Uh, like great questions. You can tackle some of that, I guess, first. I feel like I've been talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, first questions first. In what other ways has this group helped you grow? Honestly, um, a lot. This group and um, even outside of this group, just the services that we provide because some people may or may not know this is not the only, um, I guess, lump. It's just kind of like a branch of the umbrella of things that we uh, do. But as far as this group, um, it has helped me grow personally because it's helped me kind of to step outside of my box. And um, because, like I said, we have our own stuff to promote, but we find ourselves really getting fulfillment out of um, watching others succeed. That's true. You know, so it's really helped me. Um, it, it helped me humble myself and also um, to be, I guess, selfless or less selfish. So that's a few ways that it's helped. This group has helped me. Um, and it's also helped with uh, 
I guess, um, drive because you definitely have to have that motivation, determination to continue the consistency. So that's something that is enhanced as well. Discipline, I would say. Oh, huge. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because these interviews, for instance, even today, um, you know, to keep up with this Wednesday night at 730 and, you know, now and going into the future, um, it's helped us to realize different things that we have to do in order to make this um, a possibility. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say for me also, you know, just kind of piggyback off you, uh, as far as growth goes, I feel like it's, you know, kind of, you know, like I said, piggyback off you, the belief, when you see just this opportunity being made for somebody else and they succeed off of it, it helps me to see how one small thing can make such a big difference. Mm -hmm. And we've had little mini experiences throughout this process where it's like, the effort that we put in, we see how much more things come back. Mm -hmm. You know, small efforts go so far that we wouldn't even think about. And then we also realize where when we don't put in efforts, nothing happens. And, you know, the thing is, it, it all comes down to, and I guess this can kind of go into that whole, um, tips. you know, tips. Mm -hmm. You have to get started. You have to do something. If you're trying to be, for instance, we have a YouTube channel. The first step is record, turn it on, press play. Like, press that red button. Yeah, because without that, nothing's gonna happen. So we realized that when we do nothing, nothing happens. Yeah, and it also goes back to, you can't just wait for something to come to you. You have to put in the work, you have to put yourself out there, put whatever you have to offer out there. You can't just sit back and you know relax until you made it, which I guess you kind of, that's kind of up to you when you've made it, but I don't feel like there's ever a, you made, we yeah. made it type thing. There's always a bigger picture in my eyes. I, I would like to take the, the second question. question. Yeah, go ahead. I, I at least just start it because yeah, I, have a, I have a mixed answer. Has it helped you to develop more professional? So I think professionally has a stigma to it. And I would like to say it has helped me to develop more diversified. I feel like I've mm. already always been diversified based off my background and things like that as far as you know what i do for nine to five and you know so on and so forth but what i do think is that um as far as professionally is concerned yes but diversified is the, the word i'd like to use because depending on who you're dealing with you have to adjust to that so if i go into a business and i'm talking to the ceo who is in a professional environment or, or what, you know, the stigma is for a professional, then I have to be professional. If I'm dealing with, um, let's say, you know, we're going to do, we're going to walk into a gym. I don't need to go into a gym with a suit and tie. Mm -hmm. If, you know, it just kind of depends if I'm going to go deal with an artist or I'm going to deal with, um, someone, some people are intimidated by that. Right. So you have to, you have to understand how to diversify, um, and know your audience. Mm -hmm. And therefore, I think it's helped me to understand the diversity of how you need to adapt to the setting in itself. So, yeah. and I'd also say, um, honestly, forgot what I was about to say. I lost my train of thought, so I'll get back to it. And also, just speaking, honestly, because we are interviewing people, so it, it also helps. You know, when when you think about somebody interviewing you, mm -hmm. what are they looking for? You know, when we're looking for for candidates. It makes me think now, like, okay. Oh, that's what I was yeah. going to say. Also, the, um, like, I guess being personable with people. People don't want to talk to you just, like, yeah. you know, all suited and booted. They want to feel comfortable with you, especially the type of work that we're doing. We don't want anyone to feel intimidated or make them feel like they aren't themselves. Or we don't want to feel like we're not ourselves. We're definitely ourselves within this whole group or service. So that's another thing as well, as far as professionally. Next question, has it strengthened your relationship? I would say tremendously on different levels. Um, it helps communication. You actually have to listen and respect other people's thoughts because running a business, regardless if you have your own or you work for someone else's business, you should know that there cannot be just one person running the whole facility mm -hmm. or whole whatever. There always has to be someone else's, um, I guess, opinion or, mm -hmm. you know, there always has to be a compromise in something. So that's one of the things that it has helped. Um, you know, it, it works within the business itself, but it also helps us to enhance those things in our relationship. It takes as a lot. Well. Yeah. I, I was going to say also, it takes a lot of, of willingness. Yeah. I think willingness is huge. A lot of people will talk about 
communication. They talk about trust. They talk about all these different things. But at the end of the day, you have to be willing to do those things. And if you're not willing, then you'll never succeed. People, um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to put this out there. When you say that you want to do something with somebody, you have a relationship with somebody, I don't care if you're brother, sister, mom, child, boss, coworker, employee, whatever, you have that relationship, friends, you have that relationship. If you say that you're gonna communicate with somebody because it's a problem or you wanna achieve something, there needs to be open and effective communication. And with effective communication comes the willingness to actually um you know want the same thing a lot of times people say don't do business with your family you know all this extra stuff because they don't have the willingness and the effort within that to um i guess you know achieve what it is that they want to so and for us i think that it has definitely helped strengthen our relationship because um i think you know we had an interview with tyler chin about two weeks ago, maybe three. Mm -hmm. And we talked about how like, you know, fitness transfers over into your, into your life. But really it's the habits that you form in something that you are doing every day and a lifestyle, how that can transfer over into your life. And, um, you know, this business is every day. Every day we have daily goals. And for us to be able to achieve those goals, we have to have our minds in a certain, in a certain way. Mm -hmm. So, as far as the relationship goes, I think that understanding, you know, those needs and those things that are necessary in order to achieve the success that you want for that common goal, you have to adjust your mind and, and shift. We talk about this all the time together. Shifting your mind because you always have personal feelings mm -hmm. that one, they do need to be heard, but you always have personal feelings and things that um, you have to shift outside of yourself and, and the selfishness of wanting, you know, something for for just you and realizing that this person needs something else and and also understanding, I guess, that they don't owe you, you know, this or that and then your perception of things. So uh, I think that just understanding how, you know, even in the interviews, you know, we're inspired all the time and, and those things help us to kind of adjust our mind and work together because we want the common goal of success for not only ourselves, but for others. And in order for us to do that, we have to do that. Mm -hmm. Well said. <laughs> Next question, you want me to get that? Yeah. Or we, I guess we can yeah, both. Yeah. both. What is reaching your goals and helping others in the process help done for you in other ways outside of the group? So I'll start with the first part, or the first portion of the question first, uh, kind of. It says, what has reaching for your goals and helping others and I guess that is the whole question. Mm -hmm. So key word right there that stands out to me um, is the whole reaching for your goals. So typically when you have a goal, you, you have this bigger picture that you work towards or you have a final goal that you're wanting to work towards. And that's something personally that I have always just looked at, just the big goal, but I always had trouble and still sometimes have trouble kind of getting like, how am I, what steps do I take to get to that big goal? And then when I'm not getting to that goal as fast as I expect to or should, I, I get very discouraged. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so this group and this process and um, reaching my goals has taught me to look at the progression um, more so than the outstanding goal because, and I'm also learned that big goal is not necessarily my goal anymore. So looking at that okay. progression, also motivates me to be like, okay, well, let me do something bigger because I see, I see the light at the end of the tunnel now. So it makes it easier for me to go day to day and, um, you know, further reach my goals from the motivation that I see in the group, the encouraging messages that I get from people or just oh, people yeah. um, right. posting and just the support that you get from something that you didn't imagine to grow this huge this soon. Um, so that's something. And also, I was just talking to one of my co-workers or ex-co-workers um, and telling her about regardless, um, really. <laughs> <laughs> regardless of if we made zero dollars from this, it, it doesn't matter to me. I get full fulfillment from 
the success stories that I hear, helping people, motivating people. It's not the dollar signs that I see that motivates me. Um, so that's, that's definitely true. helped me um, outside of the group because I don't need, of course, everyone wants money and financial freedom and stuff like that. Yes. But I do not need that to help me sleep better at night. I don't need that. The fact that other people are succeeding and we're helping others and putting them out there and stuff like that helps me outside of this group personally within myself. Yeah. Uh, I think that was pretty great, actually. <laughs> um, so for me, reaching goals and helping others outside of this um, in other ways outside of the group. Um, I think that, I guess, as far as reaching, all right, reaching our goals and helping others, it, to me, it makes me, I guess, uh, realize how, once again, the whole, what you give is what you receive. And, you know, outside of the group and everything like that, um, <laughs> basically, reaching our goals has helped me to feel like, I guess, our goal is to help, and it just makes us go back to the original reason why we started. And what Bree said in the beginning, as far as um, we don't do anything based off of dollar signs, is you know what it what it comes back from. So um, the dollar sign thing was not the goal in the beginning, and it's not the goal now. The goal, like I mentioned in the very beginning, as far as our vision goes, is to um, help everybody else. It's to give love and put it out there. So when we do interviews. In all honesty, I do not care if you have an established business. I do not care if you're going to get us 50 viewers or whatever the case. I don't care. I don't care if one person is watching. If we're able to help the person that's on the other side of the screen benefit in any kind of way, whether that's even just having an interview, period, then the goal has been met. Very true. Okay, we have a few... Um lining up comments so we'll go ahead and read those um we have a facebook user that says blessing i was blessing by the way okay ryan moore gotcha he's okay. our one of our interviewees yeah it's testimony oh <laughs> okay um so we can just go ahead and continue to shout out because we kind of got and then <laughs> went into the comments so we um shout out bird and his business next people that second interview that we had were um fair credit restoration they are a credit restoration company that is brandon and um amber 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 yes amber so we actually have some people in our group that has utilized them so if you are watching please share your stories with them i believe that they have previously shared their stories and how their credit score has already increased mm -hmm. um not only did they just expound on their business they really educated our audience including myself and things that i never would have known and they're very transparent um, as far as what they do and what will and will not work and etc. So pretty great um, for them. Shout out to you guys. Third person is a uh, Phil Adele. Mm -hmm. uh, Phil has some, you know, he dropped a lot of knowledge on, on the entire group and shared a lot of uh, beneficial information. And to this day, we still have people that will mention Phil's name and mm -hmm. some of the things that he said that have, you know, either stuck with, them, yeah, yeah. stuck with them, encouraged them to go on. And Phil is a, um, he's a counselor and he also is an engineer. So, you know, very mm -hmm. different, you know, lifestyles and mindsets. And he was able to really drop a lot of knowledge and blessings and positive energy on the group that will transfer over into everybody's daily life. And as a male, I can definitely say, you know, the whole stigma about being tough and this and that. Being tough is acknowledging, you know, that there are mental challenges and there are things that are within yourself that need to be addressed. And um, one of the biggest things to me is, is um, how important counseling is. So if you're somebody that's out there struggling, you should definitely reach out to somebody who is a counselor, especially Phil. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, look inside yourself because once you figure out those deep rooted issues, and are able to, uh, I guess, address them and acknowledge it, you have no idea how far your, your your world can go. Yeah, and he was also very open about his past and his story and everything and being a male yeah. and the male stigma on therapy yeah. and counseling. So it was very informative and very encouraging, uplifting. Yeah, I'll take the, the next one too. So 
Oh, well, no, you yeah. Go, you so go. before um, we go to the next one that he's going to take, um, we want to shout out Keisha Jones. She is owner and founder of Atomic Skin, which is a spa that does a plethora of things. And um, we actually have a testimonial or maybe review that I saw in the comments right here. There we go. So our face is covered, but if you want to, we can take a moment to uh, read that this testimonial because it covers a few things and I know that she said something about atomic skin. Go ahead. <laughs> so I have personally used and purchased from two people you have interviewed. Atomic Skin gave me a wonderful facial. Chin, uh, Tyler Chin Fitness has helped me to develop some healthy goals that I will be working towards with his help. And I have even purchased a logo from someone in this group who hasn't been interviewed yet. And his name is listed. I have also learned from every interview that y'all have done, like the mental health one, the credit repair one, etc. I think everyone in the group can benefit. Thank you, Renee. And that just goes to show you again, Atomic Skin, like who we we're shouting out, is amazing. Um, I'm actually really wanting that Sunday fun day um, facial. <laughs> <laughs> so, I wouldn't mind either because you know, I, I yeah, didn't they beard do men care as well. I, beard, beard. They we yeah. were talking about how you wanted your beard connected. Yeah. Yeah, and then they also have, I guess, specialized treatments for men as well. Yeah. So men care about your skin. They too. do microblading, and they also um, newly introduced Botox and oh, um, yes. lip fillers. So Botox. Botox and lip fillers. So please check out her Instagram. They're very active on Instagram. Um, Atomic Skin is the Instagram uh, for the spa, and they kind of you know lay everything out for you so go check out instagram at, at atomic skin she is awesome and she's very um she educated us during the interview as well she told us a lot of things that i had no idea about so she's very um knowledgeable on skincare and everything that goes on in her spa okay and i guess i'll take the next two so we'll shout out tanique tanny b who is the ceo of pretty not perfect uh, would like to shout her out for sure because she was there in the very beginning and constant promoter. Um, she actually won our first giveaway and can tell you that the giveaways are real. She um, definitely was very adamant about uh, getting people to the group. She believed in our vision as well and she promoted, 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 promoted. There's no way that you could have been a part of the group from the beginning and not known who she was. Right. So. You know, we looked at her her products and everything like that. So if you're looking for some apparel, something unique, designs, things like that, especially the cheetah print, then um, Tanny B will, will definitely shout you out and thanking you for all of the um, support that you gave us, especially from the very beginning. Yes. Next, okay. we would like to shout out Ryan Moore, who is also in this comment below right here. This is Ryan, Ryan Moore, Facebook user. He says, blessings. I was in a point of my business that I felt discouraged. But this platform blessed me and got me inspired to continue to grind and work hard, investing in myself and building my clientele. Uh, thank you for all. Thank you all for your interview and pushing me to learn more and to go there and get more done. Much love, respect. So Ryan, we definitely like to thank you. And I actually spoke to him before this interview, and he wanted me to let you guys know that uh, the main thing that he got from the group is just the the push and the drive from one from watching us two from you know just having an interview period and uh also just realizing that you know him continuing to to put in the work on his business could open up doors for many other opportunities and uh just exposure mm -hmm. and just you know kind of constantly watching so the i would like to just put in there you know let you know Brie take the floor but basically that no, the people that you surround yourself with are going to be what kind of drives you. If you're around people that are not doing anything, I, I promise you. If people are just being stagnant or slow or they wake up late or whatever the case is, it's going to slow you down and it's going to bring you down. If people are always going, 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 trying to get things done. If you're, you know, you're trying to be the fastest person on the track team. If the people that you surround yourself are not running, mm -hmm. you're not going to run. Right. So mm -hmm. that's just what it is. So. I, I guess one thing I would like to say just to, you know, I guess thank everybody in the group. This group has been a blessing to everyone just because of all the like-mindedness and grind that everybody's putting out there. So continue to grind. 
Yeah. And I wanted to shout out his service. He is a photographer. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> he does live in the Dallas area, but he does want to be international. He wants to travel. He likes to travel. So regardless of what area you're in, you can still um, privately message him and y'all can work something out potentially. But he actually did our business photos that we now have um, on pretty much all of our profiles. YouTube, not the Facebook group. Um, we use them on our Instagrams as well and all of our other platforms. He does amazing photography he has a great eye which i've said before and i will continue to tell anyone and i actually um told one of my friends that uh you know multiple people have commented on the way that he um did our photos and the way they look um the environment during the photo shoot is like a vibe as he calls it <laughs> so yeah. um it's very nice it's not tense it's not awkward it's very fun um he's a very uh respectable guy and his photography is really truly awesome so um check him out his uh business name is called dr dbr pics dreams, dreams become, become reality, reality. Yeah. yeah that's what sticks in my head the dreams yeah. becomes reality um part and that's very important and it's very true so I, i'd like to just say for me from the first picture that he took it actually made me want to take more. Mm -hmm. and i'm not gonna say that i'm just like you know whatever so we did just skip a comment i mean a, a Thing. Well, that's just what he said, so I went ahead and put it on No, there. I was talking about the, the, the one that you just clicked off of. It said, what is your why? Mm-hmm. I'm saying that was Ryan that said that. Oh, so yes, 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 yes. So, do you, do you want to get this question? Uh, I mean, I can. We will uh, kind of explain. We said it a little bit already. Yeah, yeah. Um, I'll let you just get it real quick. Okay. So, what is your why for doing this group? Our why for doing this group is because both of us have our own, um, each of us have our own goals uh, separate from this group or before this group was even thought of. And they all, um, they both pertain to helping others or giving back to the world or showing people something that they haven't seen before in our own unique way. So one night we kind of came or talked about um, and came up with this group or with this service, whichever you'd like to call it, in a way to give back to the world um, and show them something unique and a different way of doing so. Showing all the love, spreading all the love, especially during times like this, um, in order to, not really in order to get to our goals, but you know, eventually we do have bigger goals. But our why is to give back and show love to the rest of the people, um, particularly me, I like to give back to people that um, have trouble being seen or don't really know where to go or where to start. And I like to um, be an assistance for those people. Yeah. But like I said, we're not, you know, whether it's commercial or you're amateur professional, whatever, we're here for it all. I totally agree with you. And I think you answered that pretty great. Uh, I would like to expound on Renee Crooks's um, comment here it says i think these interviews also encourage others to reach out for their own goals and motivation so since starting this group my dms have blown up my phone everything and i'm, and I'm sure Bree has the same experience and basically i just want to say that this comment here uh i guess kind of touched me because um there are plenty of people who don't have an established business or just have an idea or you know mm -hmm. whatever the case is and we support you too yeah. and let's say that you just have a thought of well what if i want to do this i don't really know where to start or i don't think that people are interested in that this group allows you to at least ask or put it out there and you're able to see you know hey well you know is this piece of paper and me drawing these little pictures does anybody care about that you never have any idea like what small little thing will make the biggest difference literally mm -hmm. I give an example. The other day, here, let me see your hand. The other day, I'm gonna do this live on here. We did this little hand thing. Go ahead, <laughs> do it, do it. Yeah, do the little. Right, that go. We did that on uh, TikTok, <laughs> and literally, it's like our number one TikTok. <laughs> like, we just did a hand thing, and you know, you never, you never know, like how, you know, whatever your weird kooky idea is. It could literally just blow that was up. A good so, point. Yeah, I mean, just honestly, like the little thing like that oh can blow up. So, yeah, I mean, legit though. So yeah, just the people who don't necessarily have that official business or whatever the case is, you never know. You never know. Mm -hmm. Next one. Just going through the comments really quick so everyone's comments can be seen. We typically do post our um, videos on. Well, not typically, but sometimes we do post our videos on our YouTube channel. So. 
we like to share the comments because people on YouTube will not be able to see the comments <laughs> from Facebook Live. Uh, this is funny. Renee Cruz is cute. Shouts. <laughs> go out. <laughs> Shouts go out to her. <laughs> it's pretty funny. That is funny. Next um, shout out goes, we just started Ryan. So Alex Odiari. If y'all do not remember Alex Odiari, he was a huge interview. He is a director of, um, what's his official title? He's director, the director of, of Celebrity Capital. Capital. Yeah, there you go. Um, of the America's most interactive TV show, America's Real Deal. So he is basically in this group right now looking for people to put on the show to invest into their business and services so similar to shark tank but very unique style um you go on that show people are investing in you and the audience actually votes or i guess um has the opportunity to invest in you yes or observe you rather than for you know Hand celebrity members, yeah. judges yeah. <laughs> you know so it's what the world likes versus what poor people you know might like so again he's still looking for people in the group so his application ha he has posted i want to uh i truly wanted to shout him out because he is just like we're a big fan of his he's a big fan of ours and um still to this day he still reaches out and you know shows love and support and and if you follow him and his messages are extremely positive mm -hmm. And always very encouraging, especially for the entrepreneur or somebody. Oh yeah, his business. interview was yeah, and, and whatever he posts day to day too is, is truly yeah. inspirational. Mm -hmm. and definitely get you going. So thank you, Alex, for that. Yes, thank you. Um, last but not least, our last interview was Tyler Chin, and he is the fitness coach. And like Renee Crooks mentioned earlier, um, he is actually, he has a few clients in this group that he picked up from that interview. Um, he does personal training. Say at least four. Yeah, he is a certified personal trainer. He does them virtually or he does them in person. If you are in the Houston, Cypress area, um, he does those in person as well. And, yeah, and yeah. Um, so you he, actually, yeah, yeah, I was yeah. gonna say, he's actually went um, to Woo! one of Tyler's trainings. So I'll let him tell you how it went. Well, I do plan to go um, just because the type of trainer he is. Um, and it's very hard for me to, I guess, find the personal trainer that I feel fits what I want and I guess what I need also. <laughs> so um, I do plan to attend his classes as well. But go ahead. All right. So, like, like I was saying earlier, there's at least four people that I know of that are utilizing his services or trying to, at least. Mm -hmm. And me personally, I went and, and um, decided to try it out myself. You know, I, I can't say too many people get me really going or that I can really, um, you know, I guess, say they really crushed me or not even that, but like, the thing is it was, it was, it was great. Did a lot of unique workouts. He assesses you as you're going. He pushes you. But in a, in not a way that's like overbearing or destructive or mentally defeating or the anything like that. Like, like, yeah. It, yeah, it's not like a, it's not like that style, but it's definitely still pushing you to where you want to keep going. Mm -hmm. So, but at the same time, I have to admit I have never um, felt some of the parts that ached for days later, you know, that was sore in my entire life or workout experience. And I've been working out for a very long time. So <laughs> shout out to him. It was a great experience and I plan to utilize him in the future. And as you can see in the comments here that there are definitely people who are also utilizing him. And you know, big up to him. I think right now, if he's not tuned in, I'm not sure if he is or not, but he's also a crumper in the mm. Houston scene. So- And don't forget the other thing. Shout out to them as well. Uh, oh, yes. So, we are Jamaican people too. And his father has a, uh, <laughs> his father has a Thank you. Uh, Jamaican <laughs> jerk truck. So and bad. they, they're running that. So, definitely go check out the Jamaican jerk truck. Check them out on Instagram. Check them out in the group. Um, and if you're in Houston or in the Cypress area, they, they do move around. And it's amazing, delicious yeah. food. And they yes. have events and everything like that. So, mm -hmm. I must say, it was a great experience. I plan to utilize him more. And thank you, Tyler Chin. And oh, and, and, and amazing family too, by the way. Oh yeah. We were able to actually mm -hmm. meet them and, and have sit down and, and, and cook. Oh, it was great. So. And that's another thing that I will say, because that is actually the last um, 
all the interviews we've shopped out all of our interviewees yes. so i do want to say we like to keep relationships and build relationships with the people that we meet within this group um like nicholas said this is not just a um you know business purpose and whatever a lot of people you know when i reach out to them or they reach out to me they feel like they have to be very like suited and booted and very professional but I like to keep and build relationships with these people and keep up with their business and actually utilize them. Everyone in the group, um, I tend to go to this group when I need something versus asking other people first. I always look in this group. So, you know, the spa thing or a photographer or, you know, whatever I may need, I will come to this group first. And I hope that all of you are uh, able to do the same, to do the same. So expound yes. i mean kind of transitioning into our well, um, well, well hold on go we, ahead. we forgot what? so we did shout out all shout out all our oh, interviewees but we definitely cannot You're forget right. the top members so just because we you know you don't have a business like we said earlier you don't necessarily have to um uh you, you don't have to have a, a, a membership i mean you don't have to have a business but we would like to shout out our top members as well I'm trying to get to that now and uh let me see if i can find it really quick if not let me just oh let's see all right i'm gonna just look at it live here on our facebook itself so our top members are let's see drum roll please all right it's towards the bottom here can y'all see us? Yeah, just want to make sure. <laughs> I think it's that one. Here. Okay. So, number one, would like to shout out Poor Hungry Driven. He is our number one contributor right now with 22 comments, uh, one, I mean, 22 posts, and one comment. Nicole Zinkfence Pearson, I definitely. Would like to give her a round of applause. I'm trying to make sure that you guys can see my hands clapping. It's a little bit. But um, she is is very supportive. I don't think that there's an interview that she has ever missed, and we love her dearly. She has 40 comments, a lot of feedback. She utilizes most of the members um, in the group, and 18 reactions. Uh, McKesson Farm D, we would love to interview you, by the way. Um, he has six posts. In the in the group and he's definitely always crushing it uh aughts wise chucks he was shouted out by renee earlier and he's done our logo he has done a couple of other people in the group's logo mm -hmm. and he does amazing work he has four posts eight comments and 27 reactions tough tunes we see him all the time now always posting um his stuff he's got four posts Six comments, seven also reactions. Does logos. Yes, also does logos. Renee Crooks. We don't want to put what she's got out there, but she's just recently started a business, and we're super excited to announce when she's ready. Yes, super excited, and she's also an attendee for every um, every interview that we mm -hmm. have. She has twenty six comments and fifteen reactions. She also has had posts in the group. Uh, I'm when not she's shouting up, showing up yeah, so she yeah. shouted out other people's um, stuff, and uh, we definitely appreciate her and love her dearly. And I think she may be one of our top commenters on yeah. the uh, the post. Mm -hmm. Bobber Shatterdy, Shatterdy, Chattery, Chattery. Sorry, <laughs> sorry for sabotaging you. But uh, we also hope to interview you in the coming weeks. And he has four posts, two comments, and also reactions. Yes. Ryan Moore, which we talked about earlier, he's definitely uh, one of our top contributors. He's invited a ton of people. He was actually the runner up for our first giveaway. <laughs> and he has 11 comments, 12 reactions. And he also has posts about his business within the group. Uh, Kyle Crabtree, we love you. If you're able to watch this video one day because he has an extremely busy schedule. Extremely. <laughs> we love him. He has many posts actually about his podcast. Which we were able to uh, we were able to um, be a part of, and that was our mm -hmm. actual first interview. And we definitely appreciate you and you sharing us and getting us started down this path. So thank you very much, and everybody go and subscribe to his um, 
podcast. To his podcast. Yes. And check out his music. Oh, yeah. He does do music as well. So All right. So the comments. Yeah. yeah. You know, big, big ups, girl. You're popping. Thanks. <laughs> no, thank you. Big ups, Nicole. Yes. What else? All right. Period poo. <laughs> I'm winner inside. Oh, that's funny. That's um, Ryan Moore. So a little inside on that. Ryan Moore um, was runner up on our first giveaway. And I don't think he will ever let that go. Yeah. <laughs> so I think that's what he's talking about in his comments. Yeah. But I would like to, to just point out the fact that everybody is commenting like this. You can see the community and the love that everybody has and the recognition for each other that they don't even know about. So yeah. Um, we just want to shout everybody out and thank them for that and that family based, uh, I guess, environment that has been created here. Yes. And um, I think now we're going to quickly get into the goals plans. Yes. And I think that we've kind of incorporated a little bit of everything within the inner, uh, the live video. Um, but we'll go ahead and kind of run down and expound. Again, please comment um, any feedback that you have for us. I get personal feedback all the time. But um, Feel free to comment it in the comments here or um, private message either one of us because that's how you go right through feedback. Okay. All right. So we have our little notes here. So, so we kind of already um, talked about the um, interaction within the group. So we just want to expound on, I guess, what our goals are within the group and our expectations through the members and within ourselves. So you want to go ahead and... Found on that, or you want me to? Uh, let's see. So, yeah, I mean, I guess I'll take um, the first one. Okay. So, one, one of our goals for 2021 is to get more comments than just reactions. So, that, that being said, we want um, for basically not just people to like stuff, we don't want you to just like, love laugh wow all that but we actually want you to leave feedback leave reviews the things that actually matter like for instance if you were to just go on amazon.com which we are affiliates of um you don't just see people just oh we liked it no they actually talk about what the product was that they bought they explain why they bought it and things like that so mm -hmm. we would like for you to also if you've used or utilized somebody's services to um you know share that feedback yeah whether it be, you know, positive or negative, just like you see, not sure if I, when I stepped away, you said this, but just like you see on Amazon or any other kind of review on a page, you want to see the good, you want to see the five stars, but you always want to look at the ones as well, if there are any, just to kind of get everyone's perception of the service or product. Also, um, the interest of the page. So a lot of, um, I wouldn't say a lot, but there are a few people that um, don't, quite understand the the vision or the purpose of the group which we try to explain that in each video um but it's it's a little more than what you can say in five minutes um but we want to just to kind of piggyback off of what you said we want you to post your services you want we want you to post your products if you don't have a business or weren't even looking to get into a business this group is for you to utilize the businesses that are posted or to share with someone else that you know and leave those reviews, leave that feedback, um, just to help people grow, just so that they can do the same thing that I was kind of talking about earlier. If you have any questions about their products, if you have any questions about their services, please um, either private message them, their contact information is here on the page, or you can ask them within the group. If you take a look um, after this live video or now, if you go into the group, into the albums, you will be able to see that they're categorized by each product or service so you can go in there and see everyone everything that everyone has to offer you can simply comment a discreet message in there and that's how you start that conversation so that's what we're hoping for hoping to see more of in 2021 or even starting today yeah i guess also something else that we tried to harp on in the very beginning is uh organization of the page mm -hmm. that used to really be a pet peeve of mine I've kind of slipped and let, let it kind of go. Mm -hmm. But uh, I think it's now become one of Bree's also. So, Bree, would you like to take that so that I don't, you know, bite anybody? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I would say the um, organization of the page. That kind of goes back into what I was just talking about. Um, the whole purpose is to, yes, promote your business on our page, um, you know, with 
how do I say this? I guess informing people on what it actually is, but the, a picture or video or what you're actually promoting, please post it on the page, but take it to the album, post it in there. So it will give people the opportunity to ask questions, contact you through those messages. And just like you go shop on Target or any other online store, you have to shop by the department, not things are not just going to pop up at you and be everywhere. You have to shop by the department. So please do the same thing within our group. Look through the categorized departments and post your product or service in there. If you're looking for, I don't know, a teacher or tutoring or languages or whatever, go click on the language album, see what there is to offer, see if there's anything in the group. If you want something from a boutique, we have boutiques. If you want um, cosmetology people or um, culinary, there's so many different groups in those albums. So please, 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 um, you know, refer to those albums and contact them through there so that the page can stay organized and people can easily access your things or so that you can easily access uh, services as well. Agreed 100%. <laughs> um it just makes everything easier for everyone yeah and then the thing is too if you're promoting your business then you wouldn't want somebody to be looking for, all right i'm gonna I'm, I'm, I'm give you an example i get asked all the time now hey do you know somebody that does this do you know somebody who offers that do you know somebody mm -hmm. that does this that, 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 that i'm like yeah definitely they're in the group but then if i have to go and scroll through all the posts to find you Mm -hmm. then that makes it way more difficult than if I was able to go into the album itself and it'd be like, boom, this whole entire album has hairdressers. Mm -hmm. This whole album has landscapers. This whole album has counselors, fitness coaches, all that. Uh, and the thing is, if there is not an album already created for you, if you reach out to one of us, it's done like that. Yeah. Hey, can you create an album for me? And this is what I'm about to post. Cool. Done. In three put seconds. So put your put your you know product or service in that group and you're done. And I will say that I would hate for someone um, to miss out on opportunities just because we know that you have posted in there um, your service and they're great and we're like wow this is very interesting and we can't find it and we're like mm, well I can't find it but I know they're in there and they can't find it either so it's very 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 important um, for you to acknowledge the I guess our organization expectations Very please <laughs> um, all right we do um of course our goal is to always grow and we plan to quadruple the numbers in this group of course let's acknowledge that so we do not quintuple, <laughs> we do not plan to just have our um you know nearly a thousand members we want to see thousands and millions of members in this group so yeah. it's very important for you to um share this group with others whether it's word of mouth or whether it's sharing it on your page or tagging someone inviting members freely invite yes please um you know help us uh go. grow the group yeah, yeah. <laughs> um let's see okay so we would also like to encourage the interviewee attendance so uh one of the stipulations that we do have for all applications or applicants to be a member of the um, to be able to be on the the, the show mm -hmm. uh, you have to invite a, a specific number of members we plan to quadruple those invites next year so be ready it's not a big deal not much to ask out of you in order to get that and the other part about that that's actually beneficial to you to invite those people is those are your supporters those are your followers those are the people that you already have within your network that know you mm -hmm. so we're going to quadruple the requirement so you're able to now have uh, more people as well as grow the group more. So 2021, that is what our goal to increase the uh, number of attendees for the interviews. Yes. And also, um, again, I cannot say this enough. Um, please give us feedback, whether it's, um, well, earlier I was talking about kind of like the group as a whole. But right now I would love for people to get feedback on the interviews. I get, uh, you know, verbal feedback when I see people get to not give uh, verbal feedback when I see people on what they suggest or what they advise for the interview. So I would love to hear from, you know, people close to me, people uh, far from me, you know, people, complete strangers. So please give feedback so that we can better I guess get out to people because the more that we perfect and grow our group and our business, you know, the better we'll be able to service and grow. I agree. Uh, all right. So I guess we can move into some of our plans. Yes. And I think that we'll see. Let's see. 
Oh, well, yeah, go ahead and take the, yeah. since we're already on the subject. <laughs> so um, we do plan to, uh, I guess, create a interview application so that it's easier for people to kind of understand how you get the chance to be on an interview or interviewed. Um, not just anyone kind of gets on the interview. We do prelim preliminary interviews to, or I guess, before the interview, just to kind of see the value of each service and product. And um, we do plan to, like I said, create that application so that you'll be able to easily put your information on there just to make the process quicker. The link will be in the bio and that will be something that we are introducing in 2021. So be looking out for that if you are interested in doing an interview or being on the show or kind of putting yourself out there. Um, please look out for that application um, posted in the bio or in the group. All right. And I guess so I'm going to just put it out there like this. These giveaways, that is all three. I mean, I'm not going to say I'm, a, I'm opposed, but she's very adamant about the giveaways. I, I don't have a problem with giving away things, but I think, you know, <laughs> you know, it's just like we already give them. But either way, the giveaways is uh, something that we plan to increase next year, but they will be merit based. So um, basically what we plan to do is have more challenges, more things like that that allow um basically everybody to grow and everybody to be able to engage more mm -hmm. so things that are going to actually encourage what the goals are for the group for you to be able to get a giveaway also the one of the reasons why i said that whole thing about the giveaways is because the giveaways that we give are not cheap so they come out of our pocket therefore you gotta work for it you know <laughs> like we said you can't just sit there and think that you're gonna get something so um, you know, Ryan, this is a giving group, Tanny B, you know, yeah, it is a group. This is a group. giving group where giving, um, you know, we're full of gift, you know, um, so those giveaways gotta kind of work for us, so. very much so. So, there will be merit based giveaways, and like I said, they're not just BS, some of them will probably be re related to our uh affiliate program, some of them will be, you know, it just depends. But either way, if you want to be able to receive a, 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 a prize, then you just got to be a part of the challenge and, you know, put in whatever effort that that entails. Yes. Um, what are our other plans? Oh. Um, the affiliate programs. OK, so <laughs> uh, let's see. One second. The affiliate programs that we're going to be talking about <laughs> are um, I guess really what we have, you know, all right, basically what we're about to do is talk about the top. Let's see. What is that? <laughs> oh, That's Ryan. so Ryan actually has a good suggestion, which we did not think about, but if we have members that are willing to, to create their own challenge, that's a great suggestion. So if you're a member of this group and you're willing to create your own challenge that I guess you're able to um, provide, you know, a donated product or service, then feel free because that's just going to create yeah. more engagement for you. If you right. want to do your own giveaway, feel free. Yes. If you want to create an event, within the feel group. free within, within the group. group. And group. I don't know if people knew this. I don't even know if you knew, but there are, um, you can create your own like little party or little room within the group. So if you want to mm -hmm. host something, you want to host your own little informative, whatever one night, let us know. Um, and you can create your own, I mean, not for permission or anything, but just kind of let us know what's going on. We may want to attend. Um, and we probably will if we have nothing else going on. You can create your own little event within the group. Like I just said. Just not during 7.30 on Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> just saying. Other yeah. than that, you're free to use the rest of the hours within the week. Mm -hmm. But yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, that's a great idea. But we plan to, um, you know, do that. Outside of that, we're going to now go into the best affiliate. Matter of fact, I'm going to give a little bit of drum roll because this will be on YouTube. So anybody that's commented, know that. You have the potential to have your business. Shout out your business or your famous business or your yeah. friend's business. So Shout it out. Show it. Shout out any businesses that you have so that they can be posted right here because they will be put also on the YouTube channel. And our YouTube channel is scrolling. 
below, right here. <laughs> oh, look, right there. It says subscribe to Life with Holly and, and Brie. So, anyway, top um, affiliate marketing businesses that we've dealt programs. with in programs in 2020, 2020 would be. First and foremost. Which one would you like to attack YouTube. first? YouTube. Okay. All right. So, um, YouTube is something that we've gotten, gotten into and we're not, oh, well, I'm not gonna say we're not affiliates because now we are, but we are, we do have our own YouTube channel. It is Life with Holly and Brie. Well, it's actually Holly and Brie Crooks is the YouTube channel name, but uh, we are affiliates of the Matt Parr program. So I would say that I'm a part of, I don't know, it might even be shameful, but at least 25 YouTube groups. And um, I would like to say that the number one thing that all YouTubers are trying to do is be able to, you know, reach more people. So they want their channel to grow. We want our channel to grow. And to do that, there's so, so many people, I watched the video today, as a matter of fact, and the, the young lady that was in the video was just saying how there was a point for like two months where she just fell off because she didn't realize it was so much work. Mm -hmm. And she was saying how, you know, she gained like 500 subscribers and she just got burnt out. She didn't realize that it is a lot of work. You know, with a nine to five, without a nine to five, it's a lot of work, believe it or not. It's not just, you just post some videos and people just watch. Yeah. There's, you know, there's search engine optimization or SEO. There's titling, thumbnails, editing takes, you know, a long time, all that. Emphasis on long. Long time. I mean, I don't, I don't know if y'all can see bags in my eyes. You know, I haven't used my Arbonne this week, but either way, um, you know, basically, it, it, it's not it's not easy. So, mm -hmm. one of our top programs is the Matt Parr YouTube affiliate program, and we are affiliates of that. It is a full on lesson of you know what you do. You get access to um, traffic that you wouldn't normally be able to have access to. You get education on the SEO. You get education. What does the program on, help you with? That's what yeah. Oh. You're, you're getting education <laughs> on the. SEO, you're getting traffic that you would not be able to get prior to that. You're getting, um, you know, pretty much everything that you would need to be able to get to that monetization status. The The way to get monetized on YouTube is to have 4,000 watch hours, not minutes, but hours. Mm -hmm. And you need 1,000 subscribers. So please subscribe if you're watching. Subscribe to our, our YouTube channel. That. But um, make sure to please, you know, like I said, subscribe to our channel, help us out. But at the end of the day, that's what that, that program is for. Mm -hmm. So the Matt Par is definitely one of the top programs out there. And if you're just watching YouTube, you'll probably even see his um, program show up as a um, as an ad. So we're, we are now partners and affiliates of his program. And all programs that we do, um, I guess promote are things that we thoroughly research because mm -hmm. our reputation is on the line. Well. Yes. <laughs> and it's not a hoax or a scam or anything right. like that. So just know if you see anything, then anything that yeah. we promote is not a scam or anything. Um, there's a lot of questions about that too, which we don't get offended with any questions or concerns that you may ask. Cause just like we were once on the other side, we have to research it to make sure that it's not a scam. So we don't get offended if you know, you have questions that you want to ask about anything that we post or anything about what we're doing. Just if you have any questions, let us know so that you would at least get an answer. Yeah. Oh, before we go into our next one, since we're affiliates, we're going to go ahead and shout out Renee Crooks, who we talked about earlier. Shout out to RN Injects, located in the H Houston. Yeah. Shout out to RN Injects with the Botox. And lips. Put your Botox lip. No, Botox are not lips. Oh, my bad. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> We're not we're not under contract, so yeah. Sorry, that's what I thought. Anyway, she does Botox and uh, she does fillers. yeah she does do lip fillers. My Botox bad. Oh, okay. Either way, well if you got wrinkles in your lips, big ups to she, you. Yeah, big oh ups. Oh my god. To, you know, brat brat. Well, we got the Jamaicans out there. Come on, wave your hands real quick. Yeah, brat brat. Yeah, the bullet. <laughs> Two finger bullet. So yeah, big up R and injects. You know, Zine. 
And DWL, Brianna Lee. We talked about it earlier this week. DWL. Yes. Remember, not LOL, but DWL. What I mean? Dead? While laughing? No, no. Dead would laugh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so shout out, shout out Orin and Jex. Uh, brat, brat. <laughs> right. Okay. It's getting kind of long, so we're going to move along through these affiliates. Programs, and then we'll, we'll wrap it up. But thank you once again. All right. Yes. So the next program. Um, Amazon, which we mentioned yes. in our last interview that we had when we, uh, well, interview, the last mm-hmm. live that we had that um, me and Nick did. So we were, you want to do that one? Amazon? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, so, yes, we are partners, affiliates with Amazon. Um, that means that you can go through us to purchase your products. We do the reviews. The last one that we did in this group is the juicer. So for anybody out there who was wondering about a juicer, we do the research on the product and then provide the review to you so that you can go and purchase it yourself. Therefore, if we comment on it, that means we have used it already. And we would like to go ahead and shout out uh, the members who have purchased that juicer and their successes with it. So we have actually so you, used it and gotten our own. I was gonna say if you um okay. <laughs> if you have um, ordered through Amazon, um, go ahead and comment below if you're watching. If not, it's pretty simple on how it goes. You just kind of give us a product that you're interested in or that you've been looking for that you don't really have the time to research or a specific product that you want because there are um how do I say that to beat around that bush. Oh, there are incentives. There are yes. There, 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 there okay. are. We have access to to, to um, specials that you might not. So oh, if yeah. you have something that you're interested in, let us know, and we will check and see how special we can find it. Mm-hmm. Hint, hint. Yes. Um, so like I said, with any of your Amazon orders, um, it's through your account. So if you're, I, someone asked me like, is it, do I still get prime? Is it still through my account? Yes, yes. It's still through your account. If you have an Amazon prime account, you will still get it the day, whatever it shows up on your side of the screen or within your account. All we do is provide you a link. Yes. All we do is provide the research for the product. If you, um, you know, need us to research it and That's the link. Job. Yes. And the link, um, for the product, we simply send it to you and it's done. Yes. We don't need any of your information other than the product that you're interested in. So none of your bank information, your address, don't need nothing. any of that, um, simply send a private message. Hey, this is what I'm looking for. Done. Can you grab it Celsius real quick? Okay. Yeah. So basically all I, I, I just want to give this an example. So for instance, Celsius, wonderful product. Celsius, if you're out there, we want you. Well, yeah, and nail nail companies, whoever got something for my nails, yeah, help me out. But anyway, <laughs> Celsius, like say for instance, you want a box of Celsius. All you gotta do is ask is, hey, have you heard of Celsius? You know, yeah, we'll review it, check it out, drink it, figure out, you know, is this something that you wanna purchase? Or if you already know that this is something that you want, hit us up, ask us for a link to it. We will send you the link to purchase the Celsius. And that is it. Hey, I want Celsius, okay. Da, 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 da. Boom, send you a link. Now Celsius is on the way. And if you are interested in any, I'm just going to say this once and for all, if you are interested in any of the, um, I guess, becoming an affiliate marketer, let us know. We can definitely guide you in the right direction. Yes, and we'll probably do a video on YouTube later about our journey as uh, affiliate marketers as well. Yeah, moving on. And if you have any questions about it, go ahead and leave it in the comments below. Yes. Um, Rocket languages. <clears throat> okay, rocket languages. What do we have? 13, 13 languages? Roughly. So we have somewhere between 13 and 15 um, language programs. Rocket languages was one of the ones I was the most passionate about in the very beginning. Rocket languages is a great program. We have had great reviews on it, Lit- only positive reviews. And it is similar to Rosetta Stone, except honestly, it's better. I'm not just saying that because it's something that we're affiliated with, because me personally, I have taken Spanish multiple times in high school. I graduated with a distinguished because I went all the way to like the highest Spanish class that you could take with honors. When I was in college, I um, tutored Spanish 
Um, I've always been interested in foreign language and things like that and being able to communicate differently with more people. Mm-hmm. There's always a benefit with knowing another language, whether that's for your children, if you're going on vacation, if you're just trying to, you know, let, let's say you're walking through a complex or something like that and you have somebody that's, um, in, you know, foreign and they're trying to communicate with you or you need to communicate with them. Knowing a foreign language is always beneficial. Or maybe you have a family member who's deaf. We also have programs to teach you um, American Sign Language. So, Or if you're getting your nails and toes done and you're wondering what the people are saying. I mean, there's, that too. there's that too. I didn't want to say it, but yeah. I mean, yeah, basically you can you can take our um, Rocket Languages program or just, you know, like I said, if you're an affiliate marketer, look into Rocket Languages. There is an approval process with them and they have to approve you in order to um, be able to do that. But, um, you know, it's definitely worth it because one of your goals as an affiliate marketer should be to help, Mm -hmm. to give. What are you trying to provide? So And not scam. Right. What are you trying to provide to to the the community? And I I just want to put it out there in the very beginning. It should be something that you use, would believe in, do believe in, and that... um, realize that as a, a salesperson or whatever you don't ever want to lie yeah. to the people that you're providing a service or a product to because it will always come back on yeah but one thing we're very um transparent about all of the products so some people will tell you um just like a, a f- affiliate program that we have which we'll state later but one of them is a one dollar trial to get started some people will tell you hey it's one dollar to start but Really, there's some fine print, so we're not one of the ones just to try to get you to get in there and then crash Mm -hmm. and burn later. So we're very transparent with all of the things that we do, whether it's um, affiliate marketing, whether it's these interviews that we do or any kind of service that someone else is promoting. So just wanted to throw that out there. So for Pamela Crooks, uh, we're Mm -hmm. talking about how you can start a small business right now. If you want to start affiliate marketing, it's completely free. All you have to do is find a product that or a service that you agree with that sits right within your heart and maybe within your audience and you can promote that. And it's Ms. completely free. Yeah, I was going to say, Miss Crooks, if you want to sit down and have a virtual coffee to talk about um, some info on how to start a business, I would love to do that with you. Likewise. <laughs> all right. Next one. Let's do the keto. Okay. So we're just going to watch all the ones left. I'm on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, custom keto diet. Um, Michael Pearson, if you're out there, please, you know, state something. Or anybody else. Or, uh, Ms. Galonic. Think, yes, Ms. Galonic. We also, I, I believe, saw that you were watching. So anybody that, that has, you know, tried out our custom keto program, please leave a comment. Mm-hmm. So um, what the custom keto diet program is, it is kind of self-explanatory. It's a custom keto diet program. So we provide you a link. It will take you to a, a very small, short assessment. Are you a man or woman? Are you within this age group? What are your, what is your What is your weight, food preferences, etc.? cetera? And um, what it's, it's, it's there for is it's supposed to take all of the thought research and everything out of the person who, you know, doesn't have time to do the research. Me personally, I have done keto. I have been on keto. I know people that are on keto. I have done thorough research on it. Mm-hmm. for a long time actually and that is part of the reason why i believe in the program so um it takes out that research for somebody who doesn't have the time or doesn't want to do the research and they're able to if they follow the program be able to get into ketosis which is the number one thing that you want to do when you're doing a keto diet keto is not low carb it is specific to you it is specific to you getting into ketosis most people on keto, if they're serious about it, they have these strips, you know, for lack of a better word, you pee on the strip and it tells you if your body is in ketosis, which is allows you to burn fat first, not carbs and everything else. Um, so basically this program provides you with recipes, which we have a recipe book uh, in our announcements. Mm-hmm. Um, so check that out. And we will also, sorry not to cut you off, but mm-hmm. we will also start doing keto recipes and cookings live. So if there's anything that you want us to see, I saw this very yummy waffle looking pizza thing. I don't know. It looked yeah. great. And I'm probably, that's the first one I'm going to do because it looked delicious. Just um, something to do. And also um, to give you ideas on how to, um, I guess, make the meal and also just give you ideas on 
what to cut. Yeah. So it would actually be pretty great in order to, uh, I guess, you know, well, if you, if, if you guys, we did create a page recently. So if you see an invite or something like that, that's from us. Um, but yeah, if you join the page, you'll see all the different posts. I don't think we mentioned this in the beginning, but we also have an Instagram, a business Instagram called Hollywood AM services. Mm -hmm. And we post all of our pictures on there. We just had like a jerk chicken, um, keto recipe on there. I, I have this amazing beef recipe on there too, that I plan to post, but there's a lot of great tasting food. That's one of the biggest things about keto. Also why I, I decided to promote it is because, you know, I've done some pretty strict ones and not all of them are tasty, but the um the keto diet is one of the easiest because it tastes good you can eat bacon you can eat butter you can eat cheese you can eat all these things that everybody's like i don't want to give that up those are the things that you're eating so because some keto diet is amazing it provides you the groceries the recipes everything that you need to eat proportion and if you have to adjust your goals within that that period of eight weeks you're done and you're pretty much guaranteed also if you have you're you haven't cooked or you're running late or whatever, you can go and get your fast food and it'll tell you what you can get. Within so that menu, yep. Right. It's 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 amazing. Yeah. No Check thought it to it. Yeah. Gives you your grocery list, your recipe list, everything. So yeah. it's awesome. And believe it or not, you will lose weight. And it's also beneficial for more than just losing weight. So mm -hmm. energy levels. Energy, mental focus. Mm -hmm. It's 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 amazing. If you're if you're diabetic, you have things like that. I'm not a doctor, but I do know th th those mm -hmm. are definitely benefits of the program. Yes. Right. Moving on um, to the next one is children learning reading. It is a reading program, which we actually talked a lot about it in the last video, which if y'all didn't know, our videos are always kept on the page. So if there's an interview that you missed or something that you kind of want to go back to, it's always kept on the page. And some of them are even on our YouTube channel, which again is right below. Subscribe to Life with Holly and Bree on YouTube. Um, back to what I was talking about. So the Children Learning Reading Program is a reading program, um, not just for children, for anyone that is struggling with reading, whether they have never been taught how to read or that they need some, um, I guess they struggle <clears throat> with reading. Sorry. <laughs> or they struggle with reading. So whether you're um, 18 months old or whether you're in eighth grade still struggling or you're an adult learning just learning english and you need to learn how to read so there's different things that you go there and it goes all the way back to the root if you want to search um jim yang on youtube he kind of gives you a huge um Overview. i guess yeah an explanation on how he works his program and how he breaks down each sound um and letter of the alphabet rather than just teaching sight words He's using mm. phonemics. Yes, instead as, of yeah, his methodology versus memorization. Yes, of the uh, like the way the letters build and how the words look and stuff like that. So it's very beneficial. And um, my four-year-old son is actually starting on um, Monday of the new year, so we're pretty excited about that. Definitely. Um, next one we have is. Which one do you want to? I'll say photo jobs. Photo jobs. Yeah. So photo jobs is a platform that wait, you wait. Just want to talk about photo jobs and how amazing of a program it is because this is a pandemic and we um we want people to realize that um you know basically we're giving you an opportunity where you can, can make money without having to do anything yes so um i actually am a um, i bought into the program myself so i am an affiliate of that but i've also um promote my or i guess submit my photos on that platform as well um so i see exactly what it is and most of these programs that we do are affiliates of we um you know know thoroughly in and out of the app and the program itself so photo jobs is basically um a platform where you submit your photos whether you're a professional photographer or an amateur just you know taking pictures of whatever whether it be sunset shoe flowers a mess um your dog whichever it's kind of like google images so that you can um you just search the image and it pops up to millions of people whoever's on that platform and you can sell them to millions of people whether it's looking for um photos for their website photos for their magazines their books all of that stuff so super cool i think that we have some member well we actually have quite a few members in the group that have invested in that program so if you have feedback on that please comment if you are uh, watching next program uh, which one would you like to talk about um 
I for, I kind of lost track of which ones we were talking about. Photo jobs. I think that's it. Did we talk about all of them? No, we have also, um, let's see. There's photo jobs, there's children learning reading. There's also, um, uh, not, honestly, I lost track too. <laughs> uh, apologize. What else is there? Not sure. Um, but those are definitely some of the top programs for sure. And if you're somebody who's looking into getting there, the, one of the other things that you want to look at if you're going into affiliate marketing is the, the um, I guess the marketing tools that are being given to you. So um, those tools are basically banners information so that you don't have to go and create that we personally do create our own but um those things are something that is necessary that the company that you plan to sponsor or partner with needs to provide so um they definitely provide useful information and tools in order for us to uh, be able to help promote those things as well yes Okay, so yeah, I, I guess I, just to go back on the rocket languages thing, we have a link. Well, not even just rocket languages, but we have a link tree personally, which has all our, um, I guess, our programs on there. But if you and it's gonna be link tree slash you know linktree dot com slash nick bree sixteen. But um, if you all the languages from rock, rocket languages is not on there. If you have a question about if we provide a specific language. Uh, feel free to ask us because we don't have every single language on there. We just have like the top ones, which would be that we're typically asked about, which is uh, Spanish, French, and American Sign Language. Mm -hmm. So there is Korean, there's Chinese, there's Portuguese, all those different languages. So if you have a um, question about any of them, or if we provide a specific language, feel free to ask. Yeah. Uh, so we have a statement here from... I'm not sure I can't say it. Remember, and it says, I have invested uploading my photos a lot of my landscapes, but thank you for the plug. I'm assuming that's going to be Matt Ryan. I mean, Ryan Moore. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Ryan Moore. Um, that's funny. Yeah, I have actually have a friend named that, but Ryan Moore, and he's a professional photographer. So if there's anybody that can leave feedback on that, that would be him, which is one of the reasons why that we encourage feedback from our members so yeah so if there's any um that's all, all of our affiliate programs and like we said in the last um video live that we had not last week because of the holiday was the week before um we will be coming on here once a month to interview ourselves to you know just welcome our new members um and also kind of update update life update business update affiliate program update just no, all any these changes types. to the group or anything like that so yeah yes so we do plan to show our faces a little bit more um but also interview others as well as well yes so if you have any questions and last comments we would love to take those before we leave for the night and also, um, I guess while we're waiting on any questions or comments or any kind of concerns, if there are any, we can give our last tips for entrepreneurs or any type of um, business advice or encouragement that we have, which he's actually amazing at that. So. Oh, well, <clears throat> I don't know. Well, one thing I would say- Spotlight on you. One thing I would say is today I was kind of going over um, different, you know, whys and uh, did you knows about entrepreneurship. And, you know, not, not, a, not a negative thing, but one of the main th reasons why, um, you know, businesses fail is because there's not a market for it. So uh, an interesting quote or philosophy that I heard today was riding the wave. So if you're a surfer, you should, you know, be going out, you're not just jumping into, you know, the water and then just stand up on the board and think that you're gonna, you know, make a move. You're gonna actually need to look at the ocean Get out there, look at the ocean, see what the wave is coming. See what trends are out there. See what is a need. How can you provide value? How can you answer a question? How can you solve a problem? No. Not just, you know, hey, I make cool clothes or hey, I, I make this, you know, whatever. You need to actually look and see what is the need out there in society to, you know, provide something for, provide value. 
So not to say that you don't follow your dream, but make, tailor your dream to solve a problem and you know check that wave. Now when that wave is coming in, timing is very important as well. Because the wave is always coming, you need to be able to time the wave. And then once the wave is there, you then stand up on that board and coast and ride that out. So for instance, right now, you know, I just give a random company, Peloton, pandemic. They have boom, skyrocketed. Netflix skyrocketed. Roku skyrocketed. But the wave was coming. Now you have a pandemic. Those companies are skyrocketing because they saw this wave coming. They've been providing this uh, value, and now everybody can utilize it because they're stuck in the house. Mm -hmm. Peloton is a fitness company. They're able to provide still working out at your home. So those those are important things. The number one thing that I have for any entrepreneur is get started. Yep. Just like start what are now. you? Yeah, start now, not tomorrow. Don't wait till it's per don't don't wait till it's perfect. I can't stress that enough. Do not wait until your business or idea or whatever is is perfect. If you're starting a podcast, don't wait till you have a mic. Don't wait till you have all that. Start now, because you don't. You know, as long as you can get whatever it is out there, start now. Yes. If you have a YouTube channel, don't wait till you get a camera. Don't wait till you get all all these different things that you need. You don't need a ring light. You know, we promote a ring light because we use it and it's great and we're using it now. But don't wait. Start now. Because yes. if you wait till it's perfect, you'll never get started. And also, I mentioned it earlier, but like I said, we have people coming in and out all the time. But I just want to emphasize on do not focus on the big picture. Like I said, you should always have, you know, a goal and a big picture and a big goal at the end. But do not get discouraged because you're not meeting that huge goal right exactly when you expect it to. Look back, look how much you've progressed or even if it's yesterday or even if you started two days ago, like look how much progression has been made. Mm -hmm. Every um, step is a win. Every yeah. step is a win. And make those small goals, you know, don't just look, make that huge goal and not know how you're going to get there. Make those small goals and then look at the progression and how you got there. And each, I guess, big picture should not be your grand finale. Like you should always yes. make it a bigger picture because you should always be progressing. You should always be, I guess, looking for more um, and knowing how to perfect that. So yeah, or not perfect, but yeah, because a, a finale or the grand finale means that there's an end and you should always want to continue to grow. So mm -hmm. don't look for that because you have to crawl before you walk. You have to walk before you run. So don't expect to, you know, be the fastest person on the track. Once again, we go back to that analogy, but don't be expect to be the fastest person on the track if you've never even crawled, if you've never walked, because it's not going to happen overnight. So therefore, um, you know, make sure to just look at the progress versus looking at the um, the end goal, basically. Yes. Renee, you know, yeah. <laughs> Renee Crook said y'all should get a theme intro song. Just a thought. That is actually who has said that before. Uh, Me. <laughs> no, I said I, I thought about it too. Like, yes, we've definitely yeah. thought about it. We're um, just kind of overwhelmed a little bit at the moment with a lot, a of, lot of different things that we're doing. With. So, trust me. So that's another thing. So she said y'all should get a theme intro song. Just a thought. The thing is, I've thought about that since the very beginning. But if I ever waited on a theme song or an intro or all start. these different things, we would not be where we are today. Mm -hmm. So. Thank you for the feedback. Yes, and thank you so much. We definitely are, we are working on that, but it just, just hasn't happened yet. Just a kind of personal insight, because we do talk a lot about business. We talked about it in the past interview. Setbacks are important also, don't, don't forget that. Yeah. Like the, 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 the negatives or the things that, were, that, I guess what you think, take away from it, you know. Yes. Yeah. We have been, um, you know, very overwhelmed with personal things as well. He's moved from Dallas to Houston. I'm moving out of, uh, from one place to another. So we're just, we're doing jobs. a lot of things. Yeah, mm -hmm. jobs, we're, we got a lot of stuff going on. Yeah. So, and even things that we don't even necessarily want to mention, but it's just a lot of things that we're working towards. So thank you so much for that reminder, Renee Crooks, and that feedback. Um, we will definitely get there to that theme song and intro. My bad. <laughs> Brandon, Brandon Fairgame, he is uh, one of the shout outs that we gave earlier yes. from the credit repair. So anybody that's out there watching, hit him up if you want your credit fix. Yes, we did shout y'all earlier. I don't know if you were here and you missed it, but you can always, like I said, review the live after we're done. So And it will be on YouTube. Subscribe. Yes. Right there. And it will be in the beginning. Yes. 
Um, other than that, like I said, you know, the, those quote unquote st setbacks are just learning lessons. Without them, you wouldn't know what you need to improve on. Yep. So that's pretty much it. Again, goes back to feedback. Yeah. <laughs> I guess as far as our the, the business goes in this review, uh, we'd like to thank everybody for showing thank up. Thank you so much. And, um, you know, like I said, we have these goals and plans for next year. I'm not sure. Did you mention this? Yeah. Oh, okay. So, um, like I said, stay tuned. We got a lot to come. Hopefully those uh, top affiliate marketing programs are something that you can utilize from us. If you're somebody that's looking into getting into affiliate marketing, feel free to reach out. And those programs are something that you can definitely utilize. Um, thank you, Brandon Fairgame. Thank you for everybody else that has subscribed to our channel. Thank you to all the members this year that have made this a success. Um, we wish you all the blessings into next year. Thank you very, very much. Uh, all of our top members, such as Nicole Zink, Fence Pearson, you can see why she's one of the top members mm -hmm. because she is always supportive, always here, leaving comments, feedback. You know, we talk to her frequently. So thank you very, very much. Yes. And um, thank y'all all, all so much. Um, we cannot say that enough without you guys. Obviously, we would not be able to operate. Um, so thank you and best of wishes to everyone and their um, personal or professional goals um, for the new year or for even the last few days and hours of uh, 2020 because it's been a little crazy. Um, so best of wishes to all of you in 2021. If anyone wants to set up any kind of, um, you know, meeting or anything like that, any kind of advice that you want or any anything, please feel free to... Um, you know reach out to either one of us we're always you know willing and available so just let us know again uh every wednesday night at 7 30 p.m central we do have these interviews um typically it's other people in their business um but more often you will see us so again stay tuned to the next wednesday night interview at 7 30 and we will see you guys next time do you have anything else um you know see you next year <laughs> That's basically it. <laughs> Bye. All right. <laughs> oh, my God.